Hi guys, we're here with Britt today from Fashion My Britt Drops In. And so this past week I asked you guys like, um, I have time to film, like what sort of stuff do you guys want to see? And quite a few people asked about reviews. Um, sorry. So I thought I would do a review on a foundation that I'm really enjoying at the moment. It is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. So it's the foundation that I actually have on my face today. And um, I kept my makeup very minimal because I want you guys to actually see what the Pro Matte, um, matte 24 hour um, foundation looks like on my skin without having too many layers on top of it. So I've literally, I don't even have concealer on, I've just got this foundation and a little bit of blush and obviously I did my eyebrows a bit and some gloss on. Okay. okay, so you guys know that I used to love this um, L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation. And I feel like this one here gave me a really um, like glowy skin, dewy finish, and I really loved it. I still do love it, and I do wear it from time to time. However, I have since been using this 24-hour um, matte foundation. I don't know, lately my skin has been, I don't know, I, I guess I'm getting older, so my skin just reacts differently to things. But, um... It's been very cold, so it's been winter now, and my skin is, it's not dry, it's kind of a bit oily these days, um, so it's, it's, it's like normal to oily instead of like normal combo, which is what it was before, um, but I feel like even though my skin has been a bit oilier of late, I'm still finding that I'm able to have a matte finish by using this um, foundation. So I'm just going to, I've got you a little quote that I wrote down um, by uh, the L'Oreal Paris global makeup designer Karim Rahman. So he says, it's the perfect matte, never cakey, it lets skin breathe and last the whole day, even in the hottest conditions. So um, I read up a bit on this uh, and it says that it's oil and water resistant and that it withstands up to 10 minutes of like it being immersed in water so I'm assuming that means that if you take your face with the foundation on and you put it in water for 10 minutes basically what's going to happen is that the makeup's not going to come off then it also says it withstands 30 minutes sports session so if you're the kind of girl who um, wants to wear makeup to the gym this could be something that you could maybe um, investigate if it works for your skin this could be a product that you might want to use um, it's not going to move within like that 30 minute session and this is probably I'm assuming that this was 30 minutes of intense training so I mean if if you're like doing a light workout it probably lost your whole hour that's what I'm kind of thinking but um, anyway so they do say that to get the best results, you should use it in conjunction with the um, L'Oreal Infallible Primer, um, which would be a great base for this foundation. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't used it with the primer. I have a few primers that I like to use of my own, of like different brands, um, like uh, the Benefit Professional, the Maybelline Baby Skin. Um, there's one or two others that I also like, but I just tend to like stay within those. So I haven't actually used it with the um, the matching infallible um, primer base, but apparently that is a really will give you a better coverage and it will apply better to your skin. But all in all, I have to tell you guys that I haven't had any issues with this foundation. It really does keep my skin matte. And so I mean, like like they say, it's water and oil resistant. I was finding that. Even though my skin was a bit oilier, it wasn't coming through and I, I literally it lost it. I mean, I didn't test it 24 hours because I'm not about to wear makeup for 24 hours straight. Um, that's just a bit much, even for me. Um, so what I would do is I put my makeup on at like, what, 7.30 in the morning. And if by the time I get to the gym after work at about 7 o'clock in the evening, or if I get home at about 6 or 7, if I don't go to the gym, then... If it still looks pretty good, then that's a good foundation. So, I mean, I've never tested it to last me 24 hours, but I definitely say it lasts a whole day. Um, like, for the average person, most of us do work, like, 9 to 5 or whatever. So, for your foundation to last a full day, that's pretty good. And, I mean, even the other day, I went uh, somewhere after work, and 
I didn't even have to worry about touching up my makeup. I just went straight there without even having to worry about that. So literally it lasts even more than like a normal work day for me. Um, in terms of coverage, I definitely think that this foundation is a medium coverage foundation. Um, what I am doing here, I'll be honest, you guys can see I've got two colors here. So these are the two colors that I have. Um, neither is my skin color. This is too dark and this is way too light. But I put two thirds of this and one third of this together and they make the perfect um, shade for my skin and that's what I've been um, pretty much using. Um, so yeah, these are actually, this is number 22 Radiant Beige and then this is number 33 Cappuccino. Um, I mean, yeah, the packaging I would say, it's a tube, it's plastic, there's not much to say about the packaging. Um, what I do feel though is that the color can be a bit deceiving um, if you just look at it like this. Like this color isn't too far off from what, what my other foundation colors are um, if you just look at it like this. But when you actually squeeze it out, it looks different. And so um, I'd say rather if you're going to purchase this like at Clicks or at Discam and other places that stock L'Oreal products, definitely make sure that you check a tester and not just look at the packaging and say, oh, okay, this is like the perfect um, color for my skin or this looks like the right color. Rather actually see the foundation on your skin um, instead of just purchasing it based on what, looks, what it looks like on the outside. I was trying to like, I was about to give like, you know, that whole um, don't judge a book by its cover <laughs> quote, but um, anyway. So, um, so yeah, so this is a really nice coverage. I really enjoy it. And overall, I think I would give this like a 4 out of 5 foundation. I really do like it. You, you guys know, like, on this channel and on my blog, especially when it comes to beauty products and anything really, my philosophy is only to share things that I really um, believe in and that I'm passionate about. And if I didn't like this, I would never even bothered speaking about it today. Um, I just think that it keeps things like really authentic and positive as well so you know that if you're reading anything on my blog it's really because I believe in it and I love it and yeah so um I hope you guys have enjoyed this little review from me um I definitely think you guys should try this foundation I really love it and especially with summer coming you know we are exiting winter and going into summer now um this could be a really great foundation for you to use if you don't want your oily skin looking oily um, in summer when the sun is shining and you're out at the beach and stuff this could be a really nice foundation to keep your face looking matte and not cakey and fabulous basically so i hope you guys have enjoyed my review again thank you so much for watching don't forget to click the subscribe button um, below and also leave a comment if you have any questions or anything you want to say or suggestions for another video and do check out my blog www.breakdropson.com and check me out on social media too. Bye guys!